Hey, what's going on guys? Real quick, Miss Italian here. Before the video begins, just want to let you guys know, we do indeed have Marauder's Apparel on sale. In the description down below is the link to pick up your Marauder's gear. It is on sale all season long for the WBE. If you want to pick it up, feel free to do so. If not, thank you for listening and enjoy the video. Good morning, everyone. Miss Italian here bringing you another Dales of Town. And today, we have some news for you guys. So first of all, we, um... I got VGC back on the channel. We are back from a little channel hiatus. Unfortunately, I was a little under the weather yesterday. And then, of course, I got back from Connecticut. So, it's a little blank space on the channel. But we are back now with the VGC in full action. Of course, guys, Evie's, Ivy's, all the good stuff always in the description down below for this team. Second of all, I left my DS in Connecticut. I lost it. How I, how I lost it, I have no clue. I couldn't tell you. So... These are only six percent of the mods I have right now. I gotta, I gotta finish EV training the rest that I have ready for the stream today. But third point in my stream today, guys, or my streams in the future, until I get my DS back, because they did found it, find it at least. Uh, if you guys battle me, want to trim me, no matter what, after the battle, give me a competitive mod or a reject. I would greatly appreciate that because I have nothing right now. I had to beat my son version. It was a pain in the ass, but we're living, guys. We are living. We are living. We got our friend for game one over here, Harutya. Rocking out with the Pelipper, Golduck, Kartana, Coco, Snorlax, and the and the Lele. So what do I want to do here? Do I want to go my Drippleman Lele? Try to get some speed control. My Drippleman, my Drippleman has Rain Dance on this team for Gareth's support. And reduce fire weaknesses, as you can tell by having five weaknesses on this team. So we got that. So getting Rain Dance up is not going to do jack for us. I think our biggest concern is getting the Tailwind up. And just doing damage with... Yeah, I think doing that. Or I could go Togan Amaru. Togan Amaru could be huge here, actually. Hmm. Avi Togan. You know what? We're going to Avi Togan Amaru lead. We're going to back it up with... Probably Gyarados. But then if I do that and you go Coco lead, that's not good at all. Hmm. Let's go Garrett. I'm out of time. You know what? Drift Blim. Lele, Togemaru, Gyarados. Ran out of time. It's going to be that. So, that's the score right there. Did I want it? Not really. I, didn't really, I, want, I needed Buzzwall to kill the lax, but we ran out of time, so that is that. But, we do got game one coming out. If you're excited for more VGC content on the channel, show some love to that like button down below. I greatly appreciate that. We got game one in the way right now. Actually, we had a game one play. That alright, but my opponent left after like 18 minutes during the most pivotal moment, so we got a free win, but there's no content now because my opponent ran away, so it is what it is. Pelipper Golduck lead. Dripplin Lele on deck. Uh, we're going to actually Pelipper, but not Golduck. We're not going to die to a Hydro Vortex, so. Hmm. I think we should be aggressive and go Psychic and Tailwinds. I may try doing that. Let's see. Fight. Tailwinds. And I could bring in Gyarados right now, actually. I could do that. Or my AV token tomorrow. But the train being up, fake out's not there. Gyarados would be a nice bet. But I have Flamethrower Waterfall. I ain't gonna do much out of the mob. So I think I'm gonna be forced to stay in right now. And go for a Psychic on somebody. I don't know who, but somebody's gonna get psychic. I just gotta figure out who, though. Or should I go for Protect? And just play it safe. Because if this Pelper go for Tailwind, what happens here? I'm gonna get an aggressive one. I'm gonna second the gold duck. Cause I can't cure all the pelper, obviously. So let's just do this. Drifting goes for tailwind. There we go. Very nice. No protects this means. Alright, there's that. There's a Hydro Vortex. Is it on my Drift Blim or is it on my Lele? Should I have protected here? Should I have protected here? Should I have played it safe? Oh yeah, I should have gone for the safe play. I got too aggressive. I'm going to pay the price now. I don't have any HP investments. This thing's going to die. Oh, man. That sucks so bad. All right. see we come back from this. You get tailwind up now. So, I just put it there. I'm in great shape. I should have been in great shape because I've been in the same scenario. But now I'm just going to bring in uh, AV token tomorrow and just start nuzzling. <laughs> going to nuzzle that gold duck and uh, shadow ball the Pelipper. Bleep blop. Obviously can't go for fake out. So, AV token tomorrow to the rescue. Let's go for a Shadow Ball on Pelipper. And we're going to nuzzle the hell out of that Golduck. Let's go, baby. Let's friggin' go. Let's friggin' go. Shadow Ball goes up on that Pelipper. Boom! Do about half. 
Yeah, exactly. If Hydro Pumper goes off, it connects. AD is going to save our life. Just kidding. Jesus Christ, dude. Game two. <laughs> Game two. Jesus Christ. Game two. Holy crap, dude. So I just did the calc for that, guys. And yes, I would have lived that Hydro Pump. It would have done. Let's see right here. Oh, that's weird. 71 to 84% from a modest max special attack Golduck. That's weird. Oh, my God. I would have nuzzled it. It would have been slower than things. Could have easily got around it. Honestly, I thought I was going to switch to that Golduck once I saw Token tomorrow there. I mean, I mean, I guess I shouldn't have seen that because he isn't my soft is there. But that's why I nuzzled that slot to make sure I get damage. And, and I mean, paralyze whatever will come in. So instead, that happened, and then they got crit burned. So that was just absolutely game over, my friend. So we're going to game two. And we're going to just see what goes there. Like I said, my guys, I had a gamer beforehand. And I got DC, the most pivotal moment. And I got a free win out of it, which is not happy. But it is what it is. So we're going to go to game two now, my friends. And hopefully not get out hacks. And I apologize, guys. My eyes are a little algified right now. Uh, I don't know. It's just this time of the year, man. Season's changing. And the ragweed is just absolute, absolute, absolute trash in my allergies. And I can't stand it. So I apologize for my appearance. But we got game two coming to the against our man Antonio over here. And let's see what Antonio has today. Antonio has Coco, Celestila, Chomp, Muck, Gastrodon, and the Arcanine. All right, not too bad. Let's see here. Does AV talk about a good lead here? I can fake out whatever I want. I can nuzzle things. Not good against Chomp, though. Not even close to being good against Chomp. However, I could probably U-turn against things as well. Uh, I think Dripping Lele is pretty standard here. And if I do that, you're going to go Muck and Celestila. So, assuming you think I go Dripping Lele lead... You're going to go Mox Celesteela, which means I'm going to go Gyarados and Togemaru. And then we're going to back it up for with... I like the idea of Buzzle from Muck, but it's not really going to do much. I need Gyarados to the Arcanine, obviously. Uh, the way to get around Celesteela is indeed my Togemaru. Uh, I think Lily in the back might be actually a good idea for this game. Metagross is actually pretty solid, too. Let's go Metagross. I think I'm gonna go Metagross Buzzwall here. Metagross and could go Lele actually, just to have terrain resetter and the big damage to Gashadon. So Buzzle could hurt Celesteela. Lele could taunt things. I'll go Lele, you know what? I'll go Lele. That's gonna be game two right there, guys. Here we go. Game two on the way right now. Hopefully it'll get hacks up the wazoo. That was absolutely insane. I definitely gonna come back in that game big time. Once I, and also Zingzap could have killed the, the Gyarados if I went for that, I mean the Golduck if I went for that, but for, I went for the Nuzzle for the switching. But, that game is by this now, we are in the present tab against our man Antonio, Antonio, what do you got man, here we go, Chomp Coco, god damn it. So if I went Drift from Lele, what the hell were you doing there? What the, I, I would have burnt, oh my god, I'm so salt, I'm so salt right now. Alright, uh, let's fake out the Coco and Dragon Dance, I think. I'm gonna die to an EQ. Oh, man, I don't want that happening. Um, definitely gonna Dragon Dance here. And I'm definitely going to fake out the Coco. What other choice do I have? What other choice do I have, my friends? I think it's my only play right now. Let's like call my point of reading that and go for something crazy. But I think fake out of Coco is the best play possible right now. And then from there, get a free dragon that's off. Hopefully, you go with double protect here. Because you're scared of the fake out. But then you realize you can get dragon that's up. So I don't know exactly what you do here. You're in a little bit of a, a Amanda Binds right now. Because you don't know what to do. And you're thinking like, all right, I get to fake it off. Beautiful. There's that. I could've got for the Garchomp there. I outspeed Garchomp. Did he go Roar? Is that Roar Chomp? I mean, I had Lightning Rod and everything, but... I just wanted to make sure I didn't get Sky Dropped. Nothing that really mattered. I just wanted to make sure Coco was going to die to the Waterfall here. Alright, so we have a Fire Fang. Honestly, Coco's not a threat at all. I'm just going to Waterium Z Garchomp. I'm going to waste. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to go for a... 
But Coco switch out here. Should I go for the nuzzle read? Well, Coco switch out's fine now. Let me see my opponent my opponent's team. Muck or Arcanine may come in. Even the Gastrodon. Yeah, no, no, no. Nope, we're not gonna go with Hermsy here. We can't do that. We're gonna go for a waterfall on Guard Shop and Token Bar is gonna just fail because I ran out of time. We're gonna see Gastrodon come in and then it's gonna be that. No Gastrodon? Are we serious? I didn't mean to do that, obviously. Wow, I could have just killed you with a Waterium Z. Now I'm salt. So you wait for EQ. Rocky Helmet on that chop. Wow. He went EQ. He realized he's talking about gone. So I guess he didn't bring Gastrodon. Well, that's second guessing for nothing, dude. Goodbye, Token Mario. That's fine right there, obviously, but. Now we just gotta cut. That thing is really slow. We know that now. So we can easily kill the Coco here. Bring in Lele, Moonblast, and Chomp. Because you definitely are. If you're sold in Token tomorrow. Well, shouldn't say that. But you're slower than Gyarados. And Gyarados is slower than this Lele. So. We're gonna go for a. We're not wasting a Zoom to get on his dead. So we're gonna Waterfall the Coco. And just Moonblast. Or actually Psychic to Chomp. In case the Arcanine comes in. I don't do more damage to Gashadon if Gashadon comes in, so. Wow, this is insane. No Gashadon, we shouldn't get free kills, I guess. You're gonna live that. But he's gonna flinch because of the town. That makes it for last game, big time. Go by to the Chomp. What are these EVs right now? Why is this guy? I feel like this guy's just so weak. Man, it's a bulky Coco. I, I don't know what just happened there. I thought Coco would have been dead to a Waterfall plus one. With damage on him. Alright, there's Muck. There's Muck. So let's, uh... Just Waterfall the Coco again. And then do I turn Lele into Metagross? Oh, I wish I had Buzzwall. Oh, I wish I had Buzzwall. I don't know what I do here. I'm just gonna moonblast the muck. Just get through the barrier now. Why not? Why not just get it over with? Alright, Coco's gone. This guy's playing really weird. This guy's playing really weird. Nothing's happening at all right now. Coco is gone. We're gonna do about half tier right here. Trigger your berry. And then say goodbye to Lele with a poison jam. It's gonna be 2v2. Citrus, not even, not wow. What the heck? This guy's gonna be a new player, doesn't have anything yet. Alright, goodbye, Lele. That's that. He might not even be Gluttony, he might be Power of Alchemy, for all we know. Alright, bring in Metagross. We got stabs and headbutts coming in hot. If you have an Arcanine, it's not gonna matter for my uh, Metagross, we're both Gyarados. Still the speed stats, I'm gonna go for what TMZ and Arcanine and just go for a Muni Mash on the Mach, I guess. It's the obvious play though, but I don't care, I'm doing it. I'll do the obvious play right now. Fight. Because Hydro Vortex plus 4 will kill Arcanine and get me around the berry, so let's just do that. And then we will go for a Muni Mesh on the Muck. I won't have a knockoff because I beat this policy in this Metagross, I believe. Yeah, I think we're good here, guys. I think we're good. This is probably an absolute gargle. Alright, Arcanine's definitely dead, so you have a Sash Arcanine. No protection. This guy just went all aggressive. Balls to the wall, man. He had no fear, no nothing. He just went for it, dude. He just straight up went for it. Alright, I mean, that, I guess... I don't know. That's some people's playstyle. They, they just go for everything, man. They, just, they rely on their point predicting sometimes. And I definitely didn't almost cost me. But as a result, we're gonna kill this Arcanine right now. Yep. And then medium match is gonna do about half... Uh, I'd say 55 to 62% of this mock over here. Let's see. Yeah. And the insect boost is to add insult to injury. Knockoff goes off in the Metagross. Nope, on the Gyarados, it can do absolutely nothing, and that's just officially the game right there. Okay. GG to our opponent. We're going to go to game three now, my friends. So, much better game two, obviously, but my opponent played very, 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 very weird. So, like, I don't know. That game is like a little, a little, a little, kind of try to win that one off. But, we're going to go to game two, or uh, game three, actually, my friends. Like, if I ever like, quit game one, because that was absolute... But, time for game three, my friends. And so far, not too bad, not great either. This team is currently three and one. 
only because of that free win in the beginning. But we're technically 2 1 or 1 1 from you guys. I'm sorry, we're 2 1, but we're 1 1 from what you guys see. So, uh, are we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Game three time, my friends. So, one thing I don't like this policy Metagross at all because this one is, uh, obviously can't change the EVs on this Metagross. This one is max speed, max attack. And when I run with this policy Metagross, I want to have. Uh, max HP so I can live attacks. But the thing is, this Metagross does outspeed non invested Arcanines because I think I have 122 speed. So I could easily Zen have up Metagross, I mean, uh, Arcanines if I wanted to. Um, do a lot of damage to them. That's the only thing I do like about it outspeed those Finnies as well. But I don't know. It's hit or miss. So we see Whimsicott, uh, Arcanine, Kartana, Gyarados, Chop, and Coco. I think it's going to be Jubilee for sure. Yeah, because Wills is going to be really good to match up. So, yep. Driplim, Lele, back it up with Gyarados, and probably Buzzle just to have some physical bulk. Or actually, no, Token Marvel Lightning Rod. Let's do that. And, of course, I'll uh, fake out eventually as well. So, that's going to be our Game 3 team. Hopefully get that W and see what Gab leads with. If, it, if you lead with, like, I think you go Whimsicott for Tailwind, maybe uh, Gyarados for Intimidate. If you do that, I'm okay with that. If you don't, I don't know. I don't know what happens there. It's literally a dice roll, guys. If I roll a six, I win this game. If I roll uh, anything else, I lose. I literally rolled a one. Literally rolled a one, guys. You can't see that because, but I rolled a one. So that means I'm going to lose this game. But here we go. Game three time. Let's get it, our man Geb. What is your lead, my friend? What is your lead? Like I said, Dribbler is really safe here. And one of the biggest reasons why I like, why I like Driplim Lele over Finny Lele, I mean Finny Driplim, is because I get Willow as, as, at my disposal. That is so crucial against things like Chomps, Cell Steals, when I heavy slam my Lele and things like that. Great, they got landed, but I'd rather have those odds than the uh, no Willow odds at all. Great, like, obviously Finny can live with heavy slam and whatnot, but yeah. That's my two cents right there. We're going to burn the hell as Kartana and just go for a second Women's Cup. We'll tell him next turn. So let's do it. Fight, Willow, Kartana, Fight, Psychic, Whimsicott. If it's not Sash, he's normal MZ, he's dead. So that's, that's great news as well. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. I got this one here. I see sticking up. I'll fix it eventually, though. All right. Kartana is now officially burnt. So don't gotta worry about you anymore. Kill my Lele. And we're going to see Smush go off on the Lele indeed. Thank you, Will O Wisp. Did you double team me? Nope. Okay, thank God. That could have been really bad. But instead, we do this. Stay aggressive is going to pay off. Women's Cot is down to the good old Sashola. Now we're going to go Talent Protect, just like you probably. But we got to go Talent here just to compete. All right, there's that. I could Shadow Ball Cortana here. Really, I'm going to Tailwind instead. Tailwind, and then play something with the Lele. Or actually, just Tailwind to bring in Gyarados. Or maybe Tailwind bring in Token tomorrow. Let's do that. Save Lele for later on. Let's just do that. I can just Shadow Ball card. Kart Kartana's not really a big of a threat when he's burnt right now. Yeah, he's out of here. We're going to see the... Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful right now. Exactly why I did this. I'm very happy with this read right now. Didn't really go for a re, but I went for the uh, AV plus Marchick eating up all day. And just so happy to cover the Coco switch in as well. So this is great. Boom. We're going to trade Talents, correct? There's my wins. And where's yours? Moonblast. Ooh, wow, even better. All right, eat that up all day. AV token Mars is going to eat that up. Beautiful. All right. Shadow Ball, Whimsicott, and do I even bother with Fake Out? Why not? Fake Out, Coco. Why not? So we either protect here, get around Fake Out, or go for switching for... I don't know what... I don't know if you... I think you might just go Tail and Drop Dead, to be honest. Wow, nothing. All right. Get some damage in that Coco. You do Tail, okay. Never mind. So Fake Out is faster than Tail. Good to know. Good to know. Should I know that? Because the fake ass plus two priority, I believe. So Shadow Ball goes off. Dead Whimsicott is dead. And they have a Burkhartana in the back and an unknown unknown. Do 
Do you bring in the unknown unknown or do you bring in your burnt Cartana? Let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, 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 Cartana and V comes in. All right. Gonna shadow ball the heck out of that guy and just zing zap to Coco, I guess. Go for flinches. Shadow ball Cartana. Yeah, and zing zap to Coco. I could U-turn but I want to keep my lightning rod in effect, so let's do that. It's gonna do a good amount of damage with the electric train. Alright, beautiful. Who's the last mob? Chomp. Eh, that sucks. That sucks. Alright, we're gonna go Shadow Ball. Can this kill? I don't know, man. I'm pretty invested. Not mods, I'm timid, obviously, but pretty invested. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Cartana. Zingzap's gonna fail, obviously, but... That's fine. I'm gonna burn the Chomp. That's where we're gonna be in great shape, man. We just decimated this man. We're gonna go for a fourth king because we got plenty of time left, guys. Plenty of time left. And it's Coco. Alrighty, burn that chop and zap that Coco. So I can't, I can't protect obviously because I have a uh, AV. So gotta stay aggressive. Gotta stay aggressive. Lando will. That's a burnt chop. It's a lumberry, which I did see recently in uh, in my stream, I believe. Someone had a lumberry guard chop. Discharge. Okay, there we go. This attack goes up like it really matters, but I'll live one. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to live. I'm at full health. Never mind. So we get the burn off. That's all that matters. Got the burn off. If you protected there, I would be amazing for you. But we're going to lose both mods right here. Burn will not see me because he, I'm times for reach of this. We're going to bring in our Lele, which is very... We could lose this game now, to be honest, which is really bad. Lele and I think it's a Metagross having the back. What did I bring? No, it's Gyarados. Never mind. By Togemaru. Like I said, I would have got for protective if I had it, but I had to be aggressive there because I don't have it. I have an assault fest. So goodbye to you. Burn damage on the chop. Gyarados and a very low HP lately come in. It is bad because Coco can now do whatever he wants. Should have set the flight there is what I should have done. That's my own misplay. I got a little too zested. I should have set the flight there. It's my own fault. I really messed up. Chomp's not a threat at all. Basically, neg three. Had attack minus one. Coco is the imminent threat. He has discharge, so. I lose. He goes discharge. I, I, he got it. He got it. I, I mean, yeah, he just goes discharge. Just easily goes to that discharge. There's no way Gyarados lose it. If he didn't have discharge, god damn it. Well, that's game. I think I hope Gyarados lives somehow, which he's not going to. Alright, Hydro Protects Coco and Psychic to Coco. What else can I do here, guys? I lose. We're going to game three. I'm going to game four. Can I have that stupid discharge, man? Yep. Damn it. Game four time. That sucks. I got two ahead of myself. That's right. I gotta, I gotta remember that. That's, I gotta I got slow down and identify my win cons better. That's my own fault there. Gotta slow down, identify the win count, just talking tomorrow, and that is that. I thought I only had one play to make because of the uh, so they assault fest, and nope, I could've just brought my Lele and off because it's completely useless. My own damn fault, learn from your mistakes, and we're gonna move on from that, my friends. Here we go to game four. I'm gonna end it on that horrible, horrible game. We're not doing that. No, 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 no. Game four time, guys. Here we go. Not saving that crap. We're gonna move on and learn from our mistakes. Like I said, guys. Part of doing this is learn from your mistakes. You gotta do it. It sucks to lose to yourself, but it's my own fault for doing that. All right, let's go to game. Let's go to game four. Let's put on some losing mean version two for that. Oh man, I need my DS back, guys. They tired. They, they got it. They did find it, so they're gonna send it back to me in the mail. But obviously, I I, I emailed them. Or actually, I sent them my email information because I wanted to send them my contact information. So I did that. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for an email from them and hopefully get that back. ASAP. Quite upset about that. But what can you do? I right, got a two pack here for game four. Mens, uh, Lax, Nihilego, Whimsicott, Cartana, Coco. Alright. Drift Lele for sure. Drift Lele, Metagross, because you have Nihilego, and Buzzwell, I believe, because you have a Lax. So, we're gonna do that and hope for the best. Although, Coco, I mean, Token would be great here. Be so good here. It'd be so good here. 
Oh, I mean, I have ways to get around the, mat the Snorlax. And I kind of really want Toga tomorrow just for Fake Out and Lightning Rod. I'm gonna go Buzzwall. First instinct, though, I'm gonna go Buzzwall. I'm just gonna go Buzzwall and prioritize Coco at all costs. So that's gonna be that. I don't want to. I'm mad at myself for doing it, but I just need it. I'm more scared of Lax and Coco, to be honest. Even though I probably shouldn't be. But let's see what happens here. I think my opponent's gonna go with Coco. I might mess up really bad here. Yep, there it is. Ah, oh, I made it hard for myself. Alright, it's fine, though. We're gonna go for a Tailwind, then we're gonna go for a... I don't know if you go for tail or you double team me here, my Lele here. Because Lele is a huge threat. I think I just gotta go tail with here and play it safe. Because. I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna go tailwinds. Yeah, I'm gonna get aggressive. I'm gonna tailwind and go for psychic on the uh, Coco. Do I wanna do that? Should I just protect? I'll play it safe. I'll protect. I'll play it safe. You know what? I'm going to play it safe this time. Because I, I, I think I'm going to play it safe. So I could have hit Carton with the free psychic. God damn it. That sucks. Alright, it goes up. And we're going to get a tail and then try to burn this Cartana as well. Okay, no, we're not going to get anything here. That was just trash. I remember we got hit by the taunt. Wow. Uh. Shadow Ball, Cartana, and bring in our Metagross. That was unfortunate. So we got Taunt on the Wizard Card instead of like. I feel like Taunt isn't as common on Wizard as it used to be. And seeing it nowadays is kind of a. kind of a. very bad for us. We gotta start this Tailwind now. We gotta hit this Cartana with the Shadow Ball. This is gonna do about three quarters to what I'd say. This is AV'd. Oh yeah. Or just do that much. Holy crap, let's go. I think I'm gonna do Jack. We're fine here. Beautiful. We can't go for Bullet Punch though because of the freaking terrain. But we can, however, go for a. I'm gonna shut up. Why is my mom leaving the vacuum still? I hate. Like, I told her not to do that. I told her to do it. She does it. So if you guys see the vacuum. All right. So we're gonna go for a Shadow Ball on. We go for the obvious play of Cartana with it because I don't want to kill Cartana. Give her free talents. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna double team Boomin's Cut here. I'm gonna go for that and Meaty Mash Boomin's Cut. Shadow Ball, I'm gonna double team Boomin's Cut here. Get rid of that thing. Try and keep Cartana in Bullet I, I don't even know if it's in Bullet Punch range though. I don't know. I think it protects here, detects here, and Boomin's Cut goes for like something on Driplum. I really don't know what happens here, guys. This is gonna be an interesting game. It's gonna be a very interesting game right now. Whimsicott's out of here. Is that Coco? Oh, beautiful. Coco's dead. Coco is dead, my friends. Coco is dead. Car, time to go for Protect. Leaf Blade, sure. Uh, that's gotta be a crit. Of course. It's probably a scope lens. Alright. Well, Coco's dead. And I can bullet punch the uh, thing now. Oh, beautiful. 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 Come on! God damn it. God damn it, dude. Well, this game's over now. Talent is gone or no? Two turns of talent. There's nothing I can do. You're gonna go T Bolt and whatever. Unless you double team my uh, Shadow Ball, Coco, and then Protect on the Metagross, which is just. No, no, no. I'm going to Shadow Ball, Cartana, Medium Ash, Coco. That was the most unfortunate miss ever. Do you have Discharge again? Is that a Discharge Coco? Nope. So mad right now, man. I'm so mad I missed that prime opportunity. He made the right read in everything. But instead, we're going to get another free Medium Ash here. And free is not very free because... Should have been dead. We're gonna kill Women's Cut hopefully with a, with a, with a, with a medium ash here. 
See if it's Sash or not. Uh, attack boost, make up for it. God damn it, freaking Metagross. Alright, bring in the Buzzwool. Bullet Punch and Leech Life. Ah, uh, Leech Life, you Bullet Punch Whimsicots. Yeah, that's the play. That is the play. God dang, man. If only a Cocoa been dead in such great shape right now. If I kill these two here, that's awesome. As long as I don't get critted on Buzzwell and don't get Moonblasted by, like... So, you know what? You don't have a Z-move, so I'm not going to get priority by attacking by anything here. Unless you have Nitch's match, would be Electric-type. That, that would suck. Taunt, sure. So, I can't protect the Buzzwell. Unfortunate, but what can you do? Alright, Women's Cod is gone. And then we're going to see a Leaf Blade into the Buzzwell, I believe. Smart Strike. Never mind. Alright, eat that up, Buzzwell. Give me a free attack boost here. Alright, it's two on two. Coco comes back in and... Yeah, I don't even know what, to do, what happens here, guys. Coco should have been dead already. Coco should have been dead already. Obviously, Buzzwell can't protect here, so I gotta get aggressive. Uh, or I just sack off Lele. And get rid of your terrain. But then I can't pull a punch. I don't want to do that. So, Coco and who? Why should be like Coco and Arcanus? I forgot your last one is Nihilego. All right. Oh, there's no chance Buzzle does anything here. No chance at all. Can I just sack off Lele? Can I just really want to sack off the Lele? Because... Buzzle actually can't do much here. So you know what? No, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. The Buzzle dropped dead. Buzzle's going to go for Phytanium Z on the Nihilego. And I'm going to medium mash the hell out of that Coco. <sighs> He's got a Z move. Goodbye, Metagross. Because I, I should switch at the Metagross. So mad, dude. This, 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 this is such a garbage episode now. Alright, here comes the power gym. I'm salt, guys. I'm really salt. I oh! Yeah, it does kill me still. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for that crappy episode. It happens. Goodbye.